Today we're reviewing two planners from Purple Trail. Now I was really excited because these were specialized. One is for real estate and the other is for homeschool, which I think a lot of people are looking for both of those right now. Now I know the lights are bright, but don't worry, we will look up close at those. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I do product reviews on Saturday. So today we're looking at Purple Trail and their custom design planners. And when I say custom, they basically just put a name on the front for you. So this first one is the Homeschool Mom Planner and I put my friend Jessica's name there because she was thinking about homeschooling her children this fall as I'm sure a lot of moms are and the second one is a real estate one and I put my friend Melissa Steele's name at the bottom because she has an amazing real estate business here in San Diego so let's go ahead and look at these now just the price on these just so you know they were each um, let me make sure I'm quoting the right place they were each $35.95 and the customization to put those names at the bottom was not anything extra uh, so let's just take a look all right, plain brown box. They put one sticker on the outside to just tell you it was made in the U.S. and it's handmade. Um, again, made in the U.S., handmade. All right, they did not skimp on the bubble wrap. We have two things of bubble wrap inside of here. We have a little postcard. Shop now for more of what you love. 20% off, more to love. Uh, purple trail thank you so much for your order oh they didn't put a picture they just put a little cartoon uh, that's okay they put Facebook their Instagram handles um, all right so here we go this I had customized with my friend Melissa's name who is an amazing realtor here in San Diego she is a husband and wife team owned I should say owned real estate agency because they have many agents working for them they're actually very successful and they know the area very well. So this says, uh, you create your own opportunities, Melissa Steele. So you can't tell from the front that this is a realtor, real estate planner, but that's definitely what I uh, ordered specifically um, just to take a look at it. So it's kind of like plum paper where they have this vellum sort of wrap on the front. That must be, I guess when you make these at home on your own, that's probably the easiest way to create that cover for... Um, this thinner page so it doesn't get ruined. Uh, this planner belongs to, if found, please contact. Uh, we have holidays for this year and for next year. And then we have the holidays again in different colors. And we have September. So this goes September, it's a six month calendar, September, October, November, December, January, February. So let's just take a look at one of the months. So here we have number of new contacts, their goals, results, um, appointments, listings, new seller prospects, new buyer prospects, number of sales, business expenses, travel mileage, miscellaneous, parking, tolls, coffee, other total expenses. So I guess this way you could just add it up if you want to see it as a glance. Um, some notes, monthly closing tracker, and then we have the whole month at a glance. And then over here, we have morning, afternoon, and evening. You can put your appointments inside of there, to-do list, notes, this week, uh, Sunday, I guess they're assuming you're not working Sunday. I think realtors work every day. I think Sundays are especially big for open houses or weekends are, I think, all the weekends. Uh, and again, Monday through Saturday, and then you get a Sunday. So this kind of rinse and repeats for that whole month. And then we move right into October, and then we get this all over again. So this has just, it looks like the only variation is there is a different color for each month. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And then at the very end, you get about, I don't know, one, two, three, five, five pages of notes um, here in the back. In the back of that is a note. And again, back cover matches the front and then has that plastic vellum wrap on it. All right, so let's take a look at the other one. And this is for homeschooling. And I put, I don't have children, but there are not a lot of homeschooling planners out there. I know people were saying that all, even all the academic planners and teacher planners are sold out because there are so many people right now 
that have to do it on their own at home uh, versus sending their children to school. So homeschool mom, Jessica Stansbury. I put my friend Jess's name on there only because she has been talking about possibly homeschooling her children. And I'm not a mom, so I didn't know who else to give this to. All right, so this planner belongs to, if found. So it looks like this one does uh, the same thing. It just has six months, but this one goes August through January. Uh, and I think I was able to pick out the months, and I think that's this is what I picked. So it looks exactly the same as the other one with the holidays, the two years at a glance, um, and then it looks exactly the same as the other one with the different colors for these tabs. So let's check and see what they put inside the month. So you have your monthly focus, your goals, supplies needed, curriculum resources, budget, actual things to remember, attendance, um, that's interesting because if you're a homeschool, I mean, I don't even know who wants to have 31 children. I might cry if I had 31 children. <laughs> even people who like kids might go a little crazy. But maybe this is if you're homeschooling. I think some uh, parents are getting together and like hiring a teacher or maybe if one of them really like loves the idea of homeschooling is like homeschooling their friends, kids for them. Um, here are grades. And then here we go. We got a two month spread for the month or two page spread, not two month. Um, we have just blanks. So you can start, I guess this should be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is interesting. I don't know why they wouldn't just write the days. Um, these are obviously Saturday and Sunday. I uh, don't know what that is. So I guess they're leaving it just really open. And then you can put in, I guess, first period, second, third, fourth, lunch, fifth, and then after school activities. So this, if you're looking for direction, I've noticed this with all of the teaching planners, whether it is the Bloom Planner, the Erin uh, Condren, I think I did a review of, it doesn't matter who's making these teacher planners, they're pretty open. And I think that's because curriculums vary so much. Um, but if you were looking for some direction on what to do for homeschooling, this is not it. Uh, they're exactly the same throughout the whole thing. So yeah, there's really not a whole lot of help. Uh, let's see. At the very back, we have resources. So maybe this is helpful. Homeschool contacts. Uh, so it's just an address book. A password log. A book list. Author, title, ISBN. I don't. You honestly never need the ISBN. I don't even know why it's asking you that. That sounds awful to write down an ISBN. Uh, budget. Uh, subscriptions, memberships, day to day things. I want things to sell. Um, that's really odd. I don't know what you'd sell if you're homeschooling your children. Um, also budget. I feel like you would just spend whatever you need for your child. Uh, and then notes, you get two, one, two, three, three pages of notes. And then, yeah, that's kind of it. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. If I was a parent and I was looking for some direction for a homeschool planner, I'd be really disappointed if I got this. So what did you think? Let's just go through these each one by one. So the real estate one, I did like that it asked some real estate specific questions at the top. Uh, however, aside from that, it really didn't seem very helpful uh, in terms of being realtor specific, except, except for that one page. Um, the other one, the homeschool mom, huge disappointment. I don't think that did anything useful um, really at all, if, especially if you're homeschooling your children. Uh, you know, there was just basically one page, a uh, two-sided page that rinsed and repeat throughout. Uh, and then the attendance, I mean, I don't know how many children you have, but I know you need to keep an attendance log. And to me, that was, it was more like a student roster log for a huge classroom versus a mom of one one, two, or even let's say you have 10 children, right? So you maybe don't need all of those lines inside of there. And honestly, if I was somebody who was getting a planner for either of those two subjects, I would want something a little more detailed or a little more tailored to that specific need. Uh, so I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, and maybe it's because I've been putting out all these monthly pop-up shop planners. And I mean, I'm able to come up with at least 50 to 100 pages for each of these different subjects. So that's why I feel like they could have come up with something a little more than a one or two pager for those uh, planners that they're calling specialized planners. So I don't know. Let me know. Maybe, you know, you just need one or two sheets and the other stuff is just guessing and maybe it's not close enough. Um, let me know in the comments below. All right. I hope everyone's having a 
fabulous day. Um, I do like that they are spiral. I do like that they do personalize it with a name on the front and they shipped out really quickly. All right. If you are interested in making your own planner, make sure to sign up for my free course, Planner 101. I will leave a link to that below and I hope everyone's having a great day and I will talk to you guys on Monday.